Welcome to the ED Post for All Season Sports Show. I'm Drew Rubenstein here with Dave Racy once again. And Dave, um, Saturday uh, afternoon, uh, a name that's familiar to WVU fans, Marcus Smart, got into a, a situation with a Texas Tech fan. Um, he went in for, for a block and, and uh, kind of came down in, in the front row of, of the, the stands. A Texas Tech fan seemed to have some sort of word with him, and then he shoved him. Um, and I'm, I'm interested in your initial thoughts. Uh, Sunday afternoon, the Big 12 and Oklahoma State and Texas Tech all came out with statements. Long story short, Marcus Smart was suspended three games, and the Texas Tech fan in question uh, admitted to, to calling uh, Marcus a name, not a, not a racial slur, but a name, and has volunteered to, to not go to any more Texas Tech games this this season, home or away. Uh, initial thoughts, is, is that the, the right thing that happened? Well, I think it's, you know, it's tragic anything like that happens, and I think it's particularly bad in, uh, you know, college sports. You know, these kids are young. I think uh, Smart's a sophomore, right. 20 years old at most or yeah. so. They're a well, very close, intense game. Uh, you know, right at the end, he makes a valiant play to try to, you know, give his team a chance to win, ends up falling down on photographers and stuff, and I imagine falling on the camera hurts, and then he gets, you know, blast from this guy, who evidently does this a lot. They were showing right. a lot of films of him. So, you know, here's a grown man who's, his day, his idea of having fun is to, you know, holler insults at 20-year-old kids who are out there. I just, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I, I, I think the guy who, you know, took himself out of the rest of the season, I think that's very commendable. Um, yeah, smart, I guess you you know he can't go in there, but you know they do put the fans so close in a lot of these places for the advantage of the home team. And but you know he's he I'm sure he realized he made a mistake. Like mm -hmm. I said, I would have liked to have seen you know the cooler heads prevail situation where you just get the two together at the end of the game after it's all said and done. They apologize to each other. They both admit that they shouldn't have done what they did. And I don't think you have to go into all this great kind of stuff because you know sometimes out of these things. I remember as a kid growing up sometimes. Two kids in school get in a fight, and then they end up best friends after the fight. <laughs> so, you know, these guys will probably be, you know, emailing and twittering to each other and stuff like that before long. But uh, hope so anyhow. But yeah, it's just a tragic type thing. It's just, it's too bad. I hope it, I hope it doesn't hurt him in the draft because you know he's he's a good player, and you know I said it's, it's, you know, he made a decision to come back to you know try to help his team. The season hasn't gone well. There's a lot of frustration and. You know, that's all you need when you, you're making all those kind of efforts and then some guy to start getting on your case who looks like he didn't play a whole lot of basketball. Right. And, and, and you said a lot of interesting things there, and it's not to condone what Marcus Smart did. It seems like yeah. some sort of suspension is, is justified. And over the weekend, my wife and I watched 42 about Jackie Robinson, and, and there's one scene in particular, anybody's seen it, where the Phillies managers getting after him and, and the stories that you've heard about Jackie for him to show that inner strength and not go back is, is something that's commendable but still all that said it's becoming commonplace for fans and, and, and I mean at WVU and everywhere where where some fans seem to think that there's the shield uh, and just because they pay a ticket that they are allowed to do and say whatever they want and play you know things that they would never do if they were in line at a restaurant or on the sidewalk to these kids so I guess looking at it, you, you hit on it that it's, it starts with individual responsibility. But do these schools uh, should do they are, are they should they be more responsible here for well, fans? They put the fans closer and closer. I mean, you know, the Coliseum, which you know they used to be all the way back. In fact, the first year they they played the high school basketball state basketball tournament Coliseum, they didn't even have the pullout seats out. They pushed them all the way back. Okay, I mean there wasn't a very good seat in the house to be truthful. <laughs> But, you know, they didn't want to have any incidents, and of course they didn't because no one was close. So as they keep moving the fans closer and closer and closer, and then the encouragement, I mean, like, you know, we have our Mountaineer Maniacs. They're not even allowed to sit down. They have to stand the whole game, you know, and so they're supposed to be up there screaming and hollering, and I don't know who'd want to have seats right in front like those guys <laughs> do, but, you know, it's just, you know, there's an encouragement of it, and, uh, you know, and it's, you know, cheer, cheer for your own team, you know, and things, but it's just gotten sort of out of hand. In the pros, you know, those guys get paid a lot of money, so, you know, but even then, I think you have to keep it a little bit respectful anyhow. But it's, I, I miss the kind of situation where a visiting player could come in and be such a good performer that uh, even the home crowd would appreciate, you know, his performance and, and things like that. You don't see that very often anymore. Yeah. I have a feeling I think I know how you'd respond, but for those fans who do think ticket prices keep skyrocketing 
if they're dishing out their hard-earned money, they have the right to say what they want. Uh, what, what, what would your response be to that? I guess it's freedom of speech, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know paying more money allows you to be more of a, I guess, a bigger jerk or something. I think they just ought to say, well, maybe I'm not going to go. It's not that enjoyable, but uh, you know, for the money and stuff. So I don't know. I, I know it's, they always say it's the cheapest form of therapy for a lot of people. Coaches say that all the time. Because they get hard at a lot. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Dave, I appreciate your time once again. Thanks. And please continue to check vdpost.com for the latest on the Mountaineers. Thanks for tuning in again.